If you have been wanting to look more stylish and put together, here are 10 habits of stylish women. Hi, hello, welcome if you're new. My name is Rochelle, former product developer turned into content creator, stylist, and business owner. Starting with number one, stylish women plan their outfits in advance. They don't get up in the morning, very, running late to begin with, with only five minutes to spare and throw something on. They actually take time, whether it's the night before or over the weekend to plan the whole entire um, week of outfits. That way they can ensure that they look polished and put together and not like they just threw something on. Number two, they invest in quality over quantity and by this I am not saying that they go to the luxury brands and that's all they do by quality. I mean maybe they buy the Uniqlo or the Cost t-shirt that's between $25 and $45 instead of the $5 one from let's say I don't know H&M Old Navy with lower cotton weight that's gonna get pilly and yellow and maybe you're gonna get holes after a few washes so watching out the quality of the items that you are purchasing coming at number three they know their body shape and this is something i'm very passionate about because by knowing your body shape does not necessarily mean that you're gonna box yourself into just that one category knowing your body shape helps you shop helps you get dressed and you learn more about the pain points when getting dressed. You will know what works and doesn't work. By knowing those pain points, you get to understand which which silhouettes are very flattering on you and what accentuates your figure. Number four, it would be a mix of high and, and low fashion. And for me, a creator that does this so well will be Farah Pink. I will insert one of her videos here is just knowing how to i don't know style um cute little shoes from zara what 40 50 60 dollars with a designer bag and it, everything just looks cohesive and even not going towards the being a designer if that's not where your budget is right now but maybe it is a dollar blazer that you got from the thrift store i love my blazer from the thrift stores and I always get compliments on it because it looks really high quality, especially when I style them and pair them with other items. So it can be, again, a blazer or anything from the thrift store combined with maybe of an elevator, elevated <laughs> item. Maybe for you, luxury means H&M, Azara, Cos, Aritzia, whatever luxury elevator luxury for you means you pair it with something more on like a chicken nugget budget number five is by keeping your clothes well maintained and by this i mean making sure making sure you are checking out the labels or putting things in the wash like yes i understand separating the lights versus the dark but maybe go a little bit beyond that maybe you don't dry that you know mohair sweater in the dryer because she is going to shrink or maybe not wash certain sweaters with certain things because you know they're going to peel and if they do get pilly amazon has this device where it's kind of like a shaver shaver a shaver for your clothing where it will get rid of the actual peeling or you know if something needs to be um clean dry take it to the dry cleaner just upkeep your up keep your clothes that way they're not replaceable every six months to a year your clothes are meant to last they're not disposable coming at number six which is one of my favorite and that is accessorizing y'all don't know how powerful it is to accessorize you can be wearing jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers heels shoe of your um choosing but once you hit them with the perfect accessories like earrings, necklace, anything, make it interesting. And even with bags, a lot of the times uh, I opt for more of a casual, basic, if you will, outfit and just go out with my accessories. 
And if you hear little tubby tubbies, that's my dog. It's right here. Um, but yeah, like if if there was something I would say invest on would be accessories. I love accessories, as you can tell right now. <laughs> accessories, I would say, make or break the outfit. Also, like any any jewelry, scarves, and belts, just bring things to another level. So not even just jewelry or maybe like a cute little handbag, but focus more on like the scarves and belts. Though I, I love a good belt. Right now, I'm on a belt kick, and I love a good belt. It, it really does make an outfit so much better. Next is to dress for the occasion. Stylish women or people in general know which outfits to tailor for each occasion. And adding into that, by knowing your body type, and you will be able to pick things for your wardrobe and have them go for different occasions. So let's take a plain white t-shirt. So you can play, you can pair a white t-shirt with jeans and a sneakers and then you, you, you go to school pickup. But then you take that same t-shirt with some dress pants and maybe like a little blazer, you got yourself a work outfit. So just choosing pieces that will go for each occasion that you may have in your life. Number eight is that stylish people, stylish women, stay true to their personal style. And by this I mean they don't follow all the million and a half trends that there are on social media. And I'm not saying avoid trends at all costs, but choose the trends that go with your personal style. Another thing I would say is not imitating or directly copying somebody else's outfit because it's not going to translate correctly i'm not saying that you shouldn't follow trends you can pick and choose which trend goes with your personal style i would say focus more on cultivating a style that matches your personality number nine would be to maintain a grooming routine if you're not a makeup girly that's totally fine but taking care of your skin whether it's with skincare routines whatever the case may be i would say try to keep up with skin hair nails again if you're not a nails girly no nail polish at least keep them clean there there's there truly is a difference when you see someone with fantastic outfit but they don't upkeep their grooming it's like ooh, did you like even shower today so i don't know smell good i love a good smell good and a good skincare routine whether it just is moisturizer and sunscreen just take care of yourself because what's the point if you have a banging outfit but then you smell and finally a number 10 confidence is key there really is a difference when you're wearing a bomb outfit but the confidence is not there like your shoulders are very groovy droopy like this and then you're walking but when you see someone who knows they look good and know they're the baddest beat in town you see it and it just radiates you can be wearing a potato sack but if you got that confident face you got it you are the most stylish woman in the world because that is exactly who you are and that is all i have for today let me know if you agree with any of this or if you want to add to anything and don't forget to subscribe so we can keep kicking a little bit more until then i'll see you in the next one bye